Hello, 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 and welcome back to End All Wars, the Great War. So, our national morale is incredibly bloody low after quite a series of setbacks and catastrophes. So, that kind of sucks, and uh, we do have now music, so I hope you guys can hear that. I hope that's not too loud, but we have music. Yes, right then, reviewing the situation, the situation is pretty fucked. If I'm honest, <laughs> I'm not lying. It's it's pretty fucked up. I yeah okay. Uh, there's there's uh, <laughs> there's a lot of shit. It's a pretty damn fucked up situation. Definitely, they can go together just there. Just so yeah okay. Uh, I'll turn the music up a little bit just in case. Okay, right then. Uh, we do have Hindenburg over here, however, this army is very much, very, very much diminished. Absolutely diminished. So everything now needs to go into war production. We absolutely need more troops in the field. Absolutely need them. Get as absolutely many as bloody possible. Uh, Rightio. going to need more. We just need more of everything, basically. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a long time before we build anything, I'll tell you that one for free. Right then, there's a lot of supply here, so I might as well bring this up here and join with the army of Hindenburg. Right, stand the defensive, 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 defensive. Okay. Yep, yeah, so, of course, we are going to have to pray for the Russian withdrawal from the war, as things are definitely in the shitter right now, and it doesn't look to be proven any time soon. Right, so we do have the Bulgarian troops over here, which is fine. Uh, we do have those Russian troops over here, those pesky, pesky Russians. Uh, 206 strength, that's not too much. Um, I do... Okay, these men do need to get the bloody... ...selves moving as this rail line will not be secure for much, much longer. Okay, this core is... It's its a pretty weak core, actually. I do need to probably put more units in that. Um, I don't... Actually, I do have some Romanian forces. So we'll bring those Romanian forces up to here. Actually, no, we'll bring them over here instead. 33 days? Are you serious? How is that 33 days? One day. Two days. Yeah, there we go. Bloody 33 days, my ass. Okay. We do have the Romanian forces over here as well. So we'll gather here and we'll sort ourselves out. Um, right, we are destroying the rail over here. That's fine. I'll go over to a dust and destroy the rail as well. No, I don't want to rebuild it, you bloody tits. Well, actually, no. No, that's fine. We'll have them come back. We've destroyed that rail over there, so that's going to slow them down anyway. Um... The Austrian front into Italy is... It's not been bad. It's not been bad at all, really. It's just we're now facing a crap ton of uh, French troops, and it is indeed difficult. Very, very difficult. Ravenna is indeed a... Uh, well, a quite important uh, objective. So I do want to hold on to Ravenna. Okay, so we'll head back to Ravenna. I do want that. I can't really afford to lose anything as important. Um, I bloody need Venice. Venezia has been the bloody pain in my side. Um, the fleet is recovering over here. Yeah. They need to recover that. Cohesion. Now, I was considering uh, basically sending out the entirety of the German fleet to hunt down... Uh, the allied fleets, but honestly, that's not going to do me any justice. So we'll combine the fleets into one gigantic fleet. Um, there are some battleships over here, actually. So what we'll do is... Um, uh, we'll be okay. Well, we'll go engage. We'll go engage. And if that doesn't work out, we'll come over here. And then we shall dock in... Uh, Lume well, Wilhelmshaven. 
and recover our cohesion. And then in time, I believe I will send the entirety of the German surface fleet. Well, that's all I have left. My submarines got destroyed at the start of the bloody campaign. Look at me. Yeah, we'll send the entirety of it into the Mediterranean and try and secure the Mediterranean at all costs. I would love to have Gibraltar, but that's not going to happen. But if I can secure the Mediterranean and get rid of the French, Italian and British shipping over here, then that will definitely give us a... Something to work with, more or less. Something to work with. Right. So they have their forces over here. We have... Uh, right, so that's the news on top. Is this a Russian? It is a Russian. Hmm... Okay, just move down here. You have the supplies to do this. Let's go into defensive. Right. Now, you could build a supply depot there. But we are looking fine, to be honest. Okay. I'm amazed that... Uh, well, Serbia is still in the war. I don't know how they're in, but they're in. So go figure, basically. The United States is definitely in. Britain is somehow still in the war after all this bloody time. I don't know how, but they're in. Okay, Afghanistan will be ours fairly soon, I imagine. Not been that long. Yeah, get Mexico for shits and giggles. Um, fighting for these other nations. Yeah. Indeed. Well, the revolution has happened in Russia, they're at 82%, so hopefully we could see the Russians become desperate and leave the war. If the Russians leave the war, I'll be in a much, much, much better position. Definitely so. Okay. Well, we're going to have to uh, hang in there with tooth, nail and claw. And really just try our absolute best. Okay, so we'll advance the turn. There's not too much to be done right now. Um, damn, I forgot about that in Egypt. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, yes, the Egyptian offensive was going okay. Right, Dio. So I'm going to be interested to see what happens next. Our morale is absolutely shockingly low. And we are near the threshold that would see us defeated. Which I want to try and re reverse the situation. Our national resilience should help with that. We should be able to bounce back with the morale somewhat or at least stay stable. Um, as long as we fight on the defensive and try and hold our ground and dig in, basically get the maximum level of trench that we have available to us right at this moment, then I believe we'll be okay. Right, so they are definitely moving more forces up there into Mets. Oh, uh, which is a pain in the ass. Okay. I would say I could flank them and take this, but this Italian army or Italian-led army is a pain. Okay. I do need more supply depots, actually. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how the turn will develop, actually, and we'll see what um, opportunities we have or what is remaining to us. But we are still in the war, we're still in. It's uh, now December, so the weather is brilliant for the defensive. So, as long as we dig in and just last out uh, winter, we should be fairly good. And then once, hopefully, to, uh, knock on wood, uh, Russia is out of the war, that will be fantastic. We'll be able to bring all those troops to the Western Front, and I believe we can fight to the end. I could probably try and take Italy out, or at least just cripple Italy. We'll have to see. We have to see. We'll have to get through the winter of 16 first. Okay. I am eagerly anticipating the Americans' arrival. That will be interesting. Hopefully we'll be able to give the Yanks a good surprise. Okay. Is this music too quiet? 
The problem is, the music is very quiet at times and very loud at other times. It's, it's a little bit odd like that. Okay. That's a little bit loud. Turn that down. Okay. Well, that's a nice little victory to start things off with. I always like to start with a victory. A victory a day keeps the dentist away. Right, okay, let's just... Can we just deal with this force? I want this force just absolutely just gone. 24, 12, yep, there we go. Don't even bloody tell me that they're still around. Please. It doesn't look as though uh, we've defeated that force. Right, we managed to get into Ravenna, uh, so that's good. I hope we didn't just leave uh, that open. I, I, I do have a Bulgarian unit here, didn't I? Or did I? Shit. Okay, I may have fucked up there. Slightly. Hmm. Yes, it doesn't appear as though I have anything for error. Which is a shame. Right, okay, they are attacking us in Ravenna. Mass fire? Uh, they're going to be massively reinforced. Give it five. Any time. Or not. What? Okay, yeah, sure. Totally defeated, mod. Totally. Yes, absolutely. 2,460 loss. We absolutely defeated them. But no, no. Apparently, yeah, okay. Abs yeah, A okay. Great, great logic game. Great logic. <laughs> Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Okay, it does look as though they're trying to secure more points in my line. Well, Ravenna is gone, so that's a shame. Hopefully our morale won't drop that much further. Right, uh, Ruprecht Bon Bayern. Bayern. Hopefully you'll be able to hold on here. You are dug in, so you should be able to hold on. It is uh, definitely favourable weather conditions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. We still outnumber them and we are dug in, hopefully. I really need a victory. And I'm worried I'm going to lose, actually. I'm, I'm pretty damn worried. Gone are the days of the offensive, basically. Well, we do have a decent amount of men that suddenly dissolve in like that nothing. Right, it does, is the battle over? It is a German victory, so that's fantastic, actually. We are taking out absolutely huge losses, and that's that's really awful. I mean, we're in hills and the weather was uh, snowy, so yeah, we couldn't have had much more to help us there. Okay. It does look as though they're going to try and assault us in the north as well. Um, they are throwing quite a lot of men at us this turn. Definitely throwing a lot of men at us. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to just dig in, basically. There's nothing else that can be done about this. Uh, what were we at with the Russian, uh, Empire? They were at 88% rebel alignment, were they not? Okay. So while it is winter, we're going to have to just, just hold on. Obviously in the Egyptian theatre we can move, as the weather is good, and it's always good. Okay, here we go, round two. Okay, we do have the advantage in infantry, though they do have the advantage in artillery. 
Uh, well, how that will affect the battle, we'll have to see. The terrain is hills, which is quite nice. Um, it has reduced the frontage of the battle, which is great for us, actually. So we'll try this massed artillery frontage. Reducing the frontage is pretty damn good, especially as we have the smaller force. It prevents us being overwhelmed, really. Okay. I, I'm so tired of watching these battles now. It, it puts me on such edge. I miss the days when everything was good and we were ascendant in morale. We just need to spend a number of turns just basically reinforcing the German army. Uh, I believe the turn where I built so many men, I I think I really kind of put uh, a wrench in the works there. Though it did hold, uh, well it did go quite well for us actually. It's just the war production, we needed more of it. I'm not too confident if we can keep this a second time. Really not too confident. Hopefully by the next turn, though, we should have a lot more men due to the uh, war production. Hmm. It is looking pretty dire. Okay. We shall see, and that's a victory. Okay, that was a lot better, actually. That's 45,000 for 86,000 uh, Anton forces. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, we lost the coastal defense. Well, that's unexpected, <laughs> considering that was uh, what looked like Russian dreadnoughts there. So I doubt that was ever going to go very well. Okay. Once again, here we go. I... I don't know if this will be a third time's a charm, I really can't say. Our numbers are continuously lower, so we'll just have to see. Uh, though their numbers are lower as well, but our initial numbers do take heavy losses at the start of the battle due to the, uh, the frontage. I do definitely need to look into the geod frontage mechanics and etc. and try and figure it out more. Okay, this is looking decent. We can kill quite a few of them in this old phase. This will be a golden. Uh, the tank should do us quite well. Okay. They're losing quite a few men there. Once they go below 200k, I'll probably feel a bit more confident. Ah, no, they have been reinforced. Um, I hope this would allow us to retake Mets. If they've thrown all their strength into this at that one location, it may be good for us. If it sent the um, armies to other locations, like in the north, I don't think I'd really have had that much of a chance. But the hills and the weather is definitely helping us out here. Definitely helping us out. Okay. Come on. Repress Bon Bayon. The Crown Prince of Bavaria. Ah, oh, thank you, God. Right, so that's 45,000 lost for 77,000 casualties inflicted upon the enemy. We are losing tanks, and they are quite costly to replace, but they do definitely serve their purpose quite well. Okay. Not looking forward to when the Americans arrive, as they will be fresh troops. Right here. If I can make the bid for Cairo, which I think I can, it doesn't seem as though it's um, any opposition there. Um, not that I would probably be able to see them, but we'll have to see. Um, if I could send some cavalry forces or something like that just to secure the... Oh no, it does have a garrison actually. Or oh, perhaps, I'm not too sure. Right, the 7th Australian Division. Can we set up a depot here? We cannot build a depot here, which is a shame, to be honest. Okay... Hmm. Almost, almost. So honestly, you're better off on your own. Can we form you into an army? 
I imagine we would, but, uh... Maybe you're just not close enough. I'm not too sure. There's somebody at the doors. I shall be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my boom has finally bloody arrived from China, so that's great. So after I've finished this recording, I could try and set that up. The box is in such a bad condition, though. It's like, goddammit, what did they do with like, bloody Royal Mail? Throw it about? Juggle with it? Get jiggy with it? Who knows? Okay. Um, we do have our forces over here. The Persian army is almost there. It's taking absolutely huge losses from the attrition. Uh, reinforcements have arrived to, uh, yes. Okay. And the militias are indeed here, so that's great. How many men do we have in this militia? So we have 58,000 men to form a garrison, so that's great. Oh, we can create a HQ here, so that's fantastic. Very nice, very, very nice. Right, the third army and the second army. Might as well combine them. Okay. Who is the better commander? Good commander, Scorched Earth. Innovative, strategist, overcautious, cool-headed. Okay. Well, you're not exactly great, actually. Um, I can't make you into a... Core commander, which is a damn shame, actually. Can you not take any more? You could take some extra. Apparently you could become a HQ as well. Okay, let's see. No support squadrons. So that just seems to be about it then. I think we'll give him the militias just to give some numbers to our armies. And yes, you need to be at a HQ. You can have the cavalry. Okay. Didn't want you to go over there. There we go, we're looking pretty good now. Could probably give you some cavalry. Right, fantastic. So we do want to build a depot here. I don't know why there wasn't a depot before. Well, there is, but we'll have to see what it does. It may aid us in the distribution of supplies, actually. Um, can I turn on the uh, winter map? I should have had that on a long time ago. It does make the game like slightly harder when it comes to running, but oh well. I don't think... Oh no, yes, we can see it. Doesn't that look beautiful? So it's winter... It's, uh... Well, yeah, it's winter time in Germany and springtime in France, apparently. That seems fair. Okay, so we'll go into this as so we can see what's going on properly. Um, Rizio. So we do need to reinforce this line over here quite rapidly. Quite rapidly indeed, and we do have a Turkish commander over here. Okay, you can go here, sir. Okay. There's reserve division and the core, and we can have it arrive in this area to bring reinforcements to the line. Okay. We have our army over here. Why are you not a general? Indeed. Okay, well, that's odd. Very odd. Let's see. Hmm. Right, so that would give us two command points for the stack. That would reduce the losses. That's a German, so I do need to send that back. Okay, combine the units then. We'll have the cores. They are indeed a little bit more useful as I can spread them out, and that's kind of what I do need to do. Okay. Okay. 
Well, that's that sorted. Well, actually, I do need to bring you out of the army. There we go. So we'll sort out this force. Okay. So we do have quite a bit of infantry that is remaining to us. Okay. Hmm. The rest of the soldiery can head down here and we'll distribute it out. I do need these uh, German pieces of war supply back to Germany. As I definitely am running fairly low on a lot of major things. For some reason the core is not out in the field where they should be. Which is a shame. Okay. Right, the OHL is here for some reason. So we'll combine that. We have our three-star general. He may have to become a core commander for the time being. That is indeed looking quite likely. Okay. Uh, we'll see how we get on, actually. God damn it. Hmm. He's not yet activated, that is a shame. Neither are you. Now I could form you to an army, but I'm not going to bother. I'll grab some of this artillery. Okay, there we go. And... Right. That's better. I do need this uh, plane to go over here, actually. Lovely jubbly. I shall make this into a depot so we can resupply those men. Looks as though we will be seeing enemies over here. Yeah, we have a lot of men here. There's really no need to have this many men over here. Definitely no need. My god, there's so many of them. Okay, the army could be reinforced. Well, if we take this out, yeah, we are under the point limit there, so I'll put in this over here. There we go, that brings that up quite nicely. Uh, the rest of the forces will move out. To here. This force can move here. This one. Um, we'll have you come down here. There we go, 10 days. Okay. The fact that this is so lightly held worries me. Right, he's activated actually, so I will go into the offensive stance we'll be able to do with these Australians. Then that perhaps will be for the best. 
Um, I could assault over into Port Said, uh, that would be quite dangerous. That would be very dangerous. Then again, there's not too much of a choice, so we...